Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Dion. And if you're anything like me and you like making that sweet money, this video is for you. If you are a freelancer or trying to learn how to use Fiverr, this is the free Fiverr course. And today I'm going to teach you how to use Fiverr as a beginner. So let's get straight into this video. Also, by the way, guys, excuse the angle. I mean, I'm trying to keep personal with the webcam and everything, but at the moment, my, um, ring light can't fit behind my desk because uh the pc is like against the wall so it's not gonna work like that so just bear with me with this weird angle placement i'm trying to keep it personal so yeah let's get straight into this video so the free fiver course this is step one sign up and getting started so what you're gonna first do is you're going to click the link in my description. So from Fiverr's homepage, just click on join. Then you can enter your email address and click continue. After that, choose a username. Make sure it's something professional. You want to seem as professional as possible because this is going to be your job or your career path for now. So choose your password, then click on join. Congratulations, you are now registered to Fiverr. So within the activation email you receive from Fiverr, click on activate your account. After that, we can move on to step number two, setting up your Fiverr seller's profile. So fill in your field of expertise. You can always change this later, so don't feel too pressured right, pressured right now. Just fill in what you're currently thinking of doing. Add a language you speak. If you can speak more than two languages, add them all just it's going to look a bit more professional link your social medias you're going to have to like link a couple of them you don't need to necessarily use them at all just if you don't have any just go create a couple and link them i think it's part of the process next up connect your cell phone number this is going to be important because when you do end up receiving orders or anything like that i'm sure they're going to be sending out notifications to you guys so that's pretty important. Make sure you do that. Cool. So let's move on to step number three. Okay. So step number three, research different niches and categories that you think you can provide a good or valuable service. So I prepared three questions for you guys so that you guys can kind of help yourself figure out a bit more what you are good at and everything like that. So question number one, what are you good at? So this can be basically the skills you have already mastered this can be what you think you can be good at and yeah so next question is what do you like this is this is more of what you're usually used to so if you're good at gaming or you're good at drawing that's something like that what skills do you currently have that's something that you professionally studied or worked hard on to get so this can be anything like writing this can be once again drawing just choose whatever you are good at and then from there on you can then decide kind of more in what category you fall under great next up step four one step closer to making that sweet cash baby let's get on to creating your first gig so you need to create an appealing title this needs to attract the viewer when he reads through all those other gigs available he has to choose or he or she has to choose your gig so make sure it's very eye-catchy okay now you got to choose your subcategory and your tag subcategory is basically once again what your gig falls under if you don't if you're not sure just fill in what you think i'm pretty sure you're going to have to figure this out on your own next and then tags tags is very important make sure i think you only have five so use them properly all right creating a price for your gig now you don't want to overprice your gig i know you you need the money and it's nice to have a gig that makes you a little bit of money but i suggest starting at five dollar five bucks this is the cheapest most people search for five buck gigs so if you have five bucks or you have your gig listed as five bucks you're more likely going to get orders this can only be the beginning though you can always bump up the price later okay the gig description this is where the magic happens you need to have an excellent hook something that 
just makes the buyer feel like, damn, yeah, I'm going to use this guy. He is, he sounds amazing. So just make sure your description is very detailed, provide everything that you will be doing in the service. And I'm sure you're going to nail that part. Next up is boosting your Fiverr gig success with visuals. I can't stress this enough. The way your gig picture looks, like that thing you see before clicking on the gig, is crucial. You have to make sure it's very beautiful because it has to stand out between thousands and thousands of other gigs. And there you go. You set up your first gig. Now just publish it and let's get it public as soon as possible. So how will you be getting orders? You have to promote and grow your gig. Step number five is give out free trials to big influence influencers. When you do this, obviously you're going to be spending a little bit of time doing things for them. But if you give them free trials, they're most likely going to be using word to mouth and they're going to be sharing your gig with others. If they like the, the, the value that you gave them, you're probably going to be getting a lot of orders because influencers have influence so they can influence other people to buy from you. So in the beginning, it's very hard to get your first order or yeah, your first couple of orders. So what I suggest is let friends and family buy from you just to give you that first couple of five star ratings. After that, the order should be coming in more naturally, but the first couple of orders is a hard for some people. I know, and if you didn't set up your gig properly, it's going to be very hard for you to get your first order. So just let friends and family order from you if they have the money to do so. Otherwise, you can always just give them a couple of bucks and let them order from you just to get that first couple of five stars. Next up, I also put this in another video of mine, which you can watch right over here. It is use bulk orders or give out bulk orders. Now, what this means is if you have something like me, I do thumbnails and you can possibly create 10 thumb thumbnails a day. Just drop the price down. It will make a lot of people seem more interested in you because you are now giving them a discount to buy more. So technically you're going to be making more money, but they don't have to know that. All right, next up is joining Facebook groups that are in your niche. This is very important because when you're in a Facebook group and somebody asks, hey man, I really wish I knew somebody who can make me a very attractive thumbnail. I'm just going to be like, yo, that is me. So I can make that thumbnail for him. And because I was in the Facebook group, I got a client from there. So not all clients are going to be coming naturally. You can always send the link to your Fiverr then. So that's very important too. All right, and the last one, link in my description, join the Discord. We will be very supportive. And if you have a valuable gig to offer, the people in there might even, might even start ordering from you. At step number six, we have how to handle clients. This is a very important step. So I want you guys to listen very closely. Always be overly friendly. I don't care how rude they get to you or how mad they make you. Just be overly friendly because a friendly seller is going to make the clients come back. I promise you. At the start, not every buyer is going to like the pricing. Of course, when it's $5, you, they can't really go under that. But if your gig is a bit over $5, be flexible with your pricing. I promise you. In the long run, more orders will mean more to you than a bit of a higher price at the start. Always do your absolute best. Just provide as much value as you possibly can to your clients because your first clients especially, it's going to be crucial to provide as much value as possible so that you can get five star reviews from them and they're going to be coming back after that, I promise you. Next up, you have to work until they are 100% satisfied. Don't be like, nah, your revisions are up or you don't, the 24 hours has almost gone by. Just keep on working until they are super happy with the product because once again, you need that five star reviews. So at the start, especially don't make excuses, find solutions. If you are not currently home and you need to complete an order, get home completed. If you are doing something like me, that's thumbnails and you don't have your PC with you, use your phone, but still create something beautiful, just 
find a solution to get the, get to get those orders done because you don't want to be letting a client wait. Okay, next up, recurring clients are royalty. Treat them as best as possible because they they chose to come they chose to come back to your gig. So you have to provide as much value to them as possible. They are royalty, so treat them with the uttermost respect and just be very thankful. Always say thank you after them ordering i promise you it's going to make them come back again and again and again okay step number seven this is how i do it i'll show you exactly how i do it right now okay so this is my page dian bosman one i'm passionate about creativity is my it is my description thing oh no this is my description but that's kind of my slogan on the Fiverr page. Make sure that's also pretty catchy because I don't, I think when somebody clicks on your page and they read that, they're going to just maybe either smile or they're just going to be like, ah, boring. Once again, 211 five-star reviews. I always strive for 100% client satisfaction. You need to do the same. As you guys can see, I joined back in 2019 i'm a level one seller super close to level two i'll be bringing more videos about that soon so my average response time is six hours uh, you don't want that you want to at least respond into in the first two hours because but because i am from south africa and most of you guys will probably be too it's a bit hard because your sleep is going to affect this because most of the people in america they they message you during when you're sleeping so it's kind of a bit harder but nonetheless let's move on last delivery okay that's five days ago that doesn't matter so description just a quick nice description my languages i took the photoshop skill test i got a 8.8 .8. if you can take those tests and nail them that's pretty good so the linked accounts okay so I'm going to show you now a recent buyer of mine. This one is called Herbal something. So it started out he, him saying, hi, I'm currently working on something on a Discord video, blah, 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 blah. Then I kind of replied a little bit late. I said it was, uh, oh no, it's the same date. Oh, it's only one hour later. So not big of a deal. I said, hello, thanks for reaching out to me. I can definitely do something that will stand out. So I'm giving him a solution to his problem. You need to do the same. I said, if you're interested, I can either send you a custom offer or you can place your order. So a custom offer is something down here. You click custom offer, then you can create an offer right there. So he said, a custom offer would be nice. I'm a little new to Fiverr, thanks. So once again, this is a new person to Fiverr. So if you impress him, he's going to be coming back. And that's kind of what I want, because as I can see, he's making a Discord video, which means there can be part one, two, and threes. So make sure you're going to be providing a lot of value so that he is coming back. So I listed, I sent him the custom offer, $5 for one thumbnail. I said, no problem, welcome here. So I welcome him to Fiverr because he is new. Hope you enjoyed the platform. Thanks again. I said, my pleasure with a big smile because I want him to be f feeling the overly friendliness from me. So after that, when I'm ready to deliver, all you do is you click, I don't know if you guys saw that, but when you're ready to deliver, you just click on this thing right here then you can deliver your order. You upload the work. Here, it's nice to type a nice long message about what you did. You describe a little bit in detail because I think a lot of people just say thanks for the order or something like that. But you really want to be having a conversation with them. Act as a person and not as a robot. You aren't. You need to make them feel the connection, the people connection. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's move on. Okay, so that's basically it. But if you're still struggling, here is the bonus tip. You can go to my Fiverr page and order my gig. Now, I'm not trying to make money off you guys, but I do have to hustle myself. So let's, let's take a look. I recently made a gig 
which I really think will help a lot of you guys. So the gig is create a custom fiber gig that gets you more orders. So how this is going to work, let me just quickly click there. You're going to go to this. I will create a fiber gig for more orders. Okay, and I see this is what I'm talking about. Look, I feel personally that this is a very attractive cover image. So my description, very detailed. You can just come check it out. I'll have it also linked in the description. So this is for if you're still struggling. So let's see what this covers. Simple mode or not mode, but simple. It is basic gig, eye catching title like this one. High demand tags, my tags will be, or the tags I'll be doing for you will be high demand, meaning a lot of search volume. A proper description just like mine over here and a converting hook something like if you're a freelancer struggling to get more orders this gig is for you see how that's very that's a very converting hook advanced okay so it's simple plus meaning everything from simple plus a custom gig graphics gig research and competitor research now because there's so many competitors you need to do very well research or I'll be doing that for you in this gig basically next up professional at 50 bucks you get advanced plus now this is where the magic happens I will do review research you know that five stars and the people commenting on them and if it's not a five star review I will be going to your competitors and I'll be checking what they want if they're complaining about something i'll make sure to tell you what you can do to improve that or provide better value than your competitors guaranteed sales meaning i will get you your first couple of clients because what i'm currently doing in this upgrade of yours i will be providing so much more value to your gig that you will be getting sales i'll give you a level one strategy the same one i used completely included in this gig and then lastly i'll give you a fiverr ebook i think it's 60 pages it's a fiverr ma fiverr mastery class it has so much value and i'm giving it for you or i'm giving it to you for only 50 bucks i mean that book alone i think is around i'm not sure but i'm going to be including it in this gig so yeah, I just have to th say thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you watching this video. This was the free fiber course. If you did enjoy this or if you did find this useful, which I'm sure you did, please make sure to drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more fiber and side hustle content. I love making money. I'm sure you guys love making money and join me on my journey as we make a lot of it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.